hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing amazing and doing good so today's video is going to be a very comprehensive one so i'll just go ahead with this first part that i want to do so first off um so if you guys have been watching me for a very long time or for a while or from my accent you will know that i'm a nigerian so there's been a lot of things that have been going on and one thing about me i just wanted to put this session because if i don't talk about it it's as if i'm insensitive of the current situation and today is the 21st of october 2020 so if i don't talk about what happened yesterday it's as if like that's not good so it's been a lot so i'll just take my time and i hope i can be able to assimilate everything in this video though this um talking about nigeria is just a part of it i have my list here that i want to talk about you um explain some things that has, explain some things that will concern to you guys that you guys have been asking me concerning students coming to north cyprus so i have the list of it so just wait and just follow me along and i'm gonna explain everything so all right so um there has been a protest there has been um stuff that have been going on and to be honest let me just give you an, a heart to heart stuff um nigerian situation is not something anybody wants to me it's not something that i want to discuss about because um i grew up i was born in nigeria i grew up in nigeria and i know a lot of things that were not right and that's the reason why um i'm not in nigeria those of us in diaspora see the thing in my head is just a lot i don't even know where to start from those of us in diaspora the things that are happening it's not like the ones that are happening now is just they're looking for a way the nigerians the citizens are looking for a way to pour out their anger it's not like it's because of this particular one it's a lot okay those of us in diaspora the reason why we left Nigeria and everything, we saw these things like years, years ago, and we knew that we can't be in this situation. So no matter the kind of, let's say, racism or my treatment that we get in these foreign countries that we are, if you want to equate what is happening in your home country and what you're seeing here in a foreign land, you prefer to um, take this part than being in that country. My opinion, everything that I'm saying here is my opinion. So. You can put your comments whatever respectfully if you don't keep angry you can shift away from my channel so yeah so um there was this recent one everybody has been seeing answers 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 protests that has been going on for a while now at least for a couple of it's up to a month they started the, the protest two weeks or so something like that but today is the 21st of october and everything I didn't really bother to put the answer stuff on my channel. I'll be talking very fast so I can see time is already three minutes. I'm talking very fast so I can go into the topic of today. Um, I didn't really want to talk about it because one thing about it, if you, let's just bring it home. If you're in Nigeria and watching me, you know what, you understand what I'm about to say now. Nigeria is the, when something happens, whether sensitive or serious or whatever, they will not let that turn it to um, a joke so people will be printing t-shirts or guy at the top like any sensitive thing that happens or anything that goes on on in that country when you now start if it's a popular thing and everything you now start seeing people taking it for like for joke people taking it to make movie people taking it to just I don't know how to explain but in nigeria you understand what i say so i didn't want to come up in this my channel and say anything about answers and everything because i saw that now is now more like publicity not like publicity like uh, uh, i beg so i know what i mean so i just let me just keep quiet everybody they have their own different way to express their um concern me for one i decided to pray in my heart and pray at home when i have time pray that god will just end this thing and anything that wants to happen in that country should just happen i didn't bother to come here and say because there are a lot of people youtubers even patricia bryce all those baby people have said it so i didn't feel any reason but this recent one that has happened yesterday the 20th of october is something that um is crazy and that was why the saga that people were talking about not cyprus i didn't come to address it because 
it doesn't really make sense Come, just just look about just look what is happening now today is 21 yesterday 20 you see the killing you see the um it's sad it's <laughs> it's a shame it's a shame it's a shame like it's a shame those of you that are not nigerian because i know i have like a lot of you from different just try to go and look at uh which news should i tell you because now they are hiding the news and everything i, I will not say go and watch it in television go to all these nigerian celebrities that you know omotala genevieve um um Banky W, all those people that you know that are celebrities and everything, just go to their page. Go to their Instagram Instagram page. You will see the real thing. Stephanie Kuka, just go to their pages. You will see the real raw things that are happening in Nigeria right now. It is just like a, 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 a dead zone. It's just so crazy. Killing young protesters. Killing people for just... <sighs> Mm. it's a lot so if i if i just want to talk about i don't want to delicate a video for nigerian stuff i really don't want i don't want those attention and all those things so i just wanted to say that those ones that have lost their life and things has happened uh, uh, may your soul rest in peace and to be honest me i don't know whether i get the right and because as a nigerian said we don't even know your right me if you ask me or if you ask me please everybody should just go their separate way if person no one marry now by force if person say they no one be together now by force please just go that just go people should just go their separate ways because it's not it's it's bad to be seeing people losing young young people dying dying every second what is happening like let me just end it here because it's just going to be a lot so those of you that are not nigerians don't know what is happening there's been massacre in nigeria because they are saying that they should end sas and the rest of it go to davido davido is a musician go to his page you will see what is happening okay so i'm just here to just say god please um save the young ones because i mean i'm just after these young people that will the fire you know how young people of the fire is please go protect them please even when they go for the protest please protect them don't don't allow them to die don't allow gun to hit them that is the only thing that i want to say but this so country one of the corner in general they're not gonna go on a ways more gonna go on a separate ways i beg me person feel rest all right so this is just what i mean i'm just everywhere but yeah i will see how we edit it and whatever so yeah that's what i want to say so let's move over to the next section or the next segment i'm really not happy i'm really really not happy anyway so let's go so guys if you see that if you guys see me looking down i have a, a pile load of stuff that i've written down and i want to explain you guys as an is a q and a i want to answer your question and these are the top questions that you guys have been asking so let me get to them one after the other i mean not this week this period has been very hefty i will not give some promises if not i would have been putting the screen shot of the comment that you guys have been asking me so number one question is more centered on the quarantine you guys are asking me um how is the quarantine center how is the place and before you see this video you will see um um another video that i picked uh, one of my career students that was done from the quarantine so you see that video and you see the environment and also somebody was asking is there internet is there food um, um how is people quarantined there how is people quarantined there so we were asking how is internet and all those things so let me answer this thing so let me answer so the places where they quarantine students in north cyprus are basically hotels so you see students in different 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 kind of hotels nice nice hotels like you like i said there will be a video that will upload before this one so you see the hotel at least have an idea of how it is and there are some of my videos that i've told my students those of them that are listening to me please video inside your hotel and send some short clip to me so you can go maybe i'll put a sticker of one that at the end of the video that he showed his house and all those things so that is it's just an hotel an hotel 
So um, internet, yes, of course, in, in this thing, there is internet in all, every hotel in the world, there, there is um, internet. Then the next one is, um, the next one and the most important one is the food. So you know that, uh, say Nigerian, you know that Africans, we have a different taste bowl from Europeans and the rest of it. So the food, the truth is that the food that is being served in the quarantine center is Turkish food. They serve Turkish food. They serve their local dishes. So you might not necessarily like it because that has been the complaint of majority of my students complaining about the food, the food, because they, they serve they feed three times a day. It's not about the the frequency, it's about the food itself. That they don't like the vegetables, they don't like the mashed potato, they don't like some kind of a thing, which I totally understand because if you're coming from Africa and you've been you're you're used to a bangare and all those things, coming to now give you salad and all those things, it's kind of um a mixture and everything. So yes, so just know that the food and I can put the pictures of the food so that you can also have a, cl a glimpse of how the food are. So yes, they feed three times a day, but but know this is their their local food, Turkish food that they feed. They don't feed you African food. Just know that. So how do you remedy this situation? I tell my students then that, and I'm also telling you guys, those of you that have not landed that if you have like what do you call it if you have all these small small things that you can snack on like obviously i mean nigeria so that's the best um, one i can remember so you can just relate it to your country please i don't know or you understand so something like gala something like um plantain chips something like cornflakes is universal to, um ghana liberia everywhere you have cornflakes all those small small of your food that you can snack in that you can put in a bag carry those things so that when you you now come to the quarantine center you'll not be too um how would i say it you'll not suffer a lot because if you don't like the food okay you at least you have something to just go and eat a little bit i, I guess today i'm not even really my head is just so traumatized about what happened in nigeria yesterday so i don't think if i'm passing the information away but just bear with me so what i'm trying to say is that bring some things bring some small small food that you can snack on in the quarantine center if you're a person that selects food please bring things that you can snack on and also again i have this outstanding question that they asked me the how many days is a quarantine so basically west africa most african countries that i know that are quarantine my students and other people quarantine days is for 14 days 14 one four 14 days so you're going to be there for two weeks so you know how long it is so you if you are a selective kind of person you have to bring all those snacks that you can eat and everything and also there's also an option where the you know how hotel is that there is a reception line you can call them and give them the list of things that you want and you give them money they will buy it from outside and bring it to you so there are some things like that so you can actually look at the other option and the last one about quarantine that will say is um somebody was asking me if they can get a line in istanbul when they're coming from their country because they definitely wish istanbul if they can get a sim card um, from istanbul you, you can definitely get a sim card from istanbul but the thing here is that your sim card will not work here in cyprus it will not work here in cyprus so there is no need to get that so let me now move over to the flight I have a lot of now at these days you know when you get more experience I don't kill myself in trying to explain I just try I just pass the information he that have ears let him hear if you don't want to hear it's not the problem in an option so coming over to this flight um, issue I have a lot of people that are asking me about the flight which flight should I take um, all those questions which i wrote here so somebody asked me which flight should i take what i advise everybody coming to north cyprus and those of you that are not cyprus you can see if i'm saying the truth or lie. if you're coming to north cyprus the best airline i'm not sponsored by this airline and i pray they just contact me one day because i'm doing a good job for them but it's the truth okay the best airline to come to travel to to north cyprus is turkish airline the reason is because 
North Cyprus is controlled by Turkey. So, and there is no body that comes to North Cyprus that does not get to Turkey, Istanbul. So, and these people, they are the people that did all these things. So they know and understand that they have international students from all over, especially Africa region, Pakistan, Asia, and all those things. So Turkish airline, you, it is wise for you to enter the airline um, of the country that you're going to. So Turkish airline is the best airline to enter because I have plenty of students and if I have time, I'm going to put some write up people that have missed their flight, people that they've denied flight that, oh, their country is visa free because they entered a different airline that they don't know what is happening and everything. They deny them. A lot of things has happened this period, which when I have time, I'm going to explain and tell you guys about. So if you ask me the best airline to use coming to North Cyprus is Turkish airline. Just book Turkish airline and you'll be fine. So let me go to the next question. Should I do round trip? Okay, this other question is about um, getting round trip and or using one way. The truth is that um, this pandemic just happened, okay, and it has stayed for a while, but it's something that's never happened, like happened. So things are uncertain in kind of, I'm trying to use the best word, but the thing here is that no section of students has come through this this pandemic period so the the whole system is trying to adjust and understand the airline the immigration of every country is trying to adjust to this whole thing and try to get use the best way they can so traveling through this pandemic it is very advisable to use grand ticket return ticket round ticket is not advisable to use one-way ticket because like i said there's there's, I mean, there's a lot of things that i have to do there's a lot of topic that i have to talk but it's just the time to be honest today today the 21st i didn't go to work just to be able to edit some videos and try to put things out and help you because the questions have been mind-boggling so i just needed to create create time and all that so the thing here is that um the thing here is that it's advisable to come with two-way ticket and don't be forgetting the fact that you're Africa. You're not you're an African. So don't get yourself mixed up in some kind of um yes and yes. Come with round trip uh, round trip is a sacrifice. Okay, so that's what our advice. Two-way ticket, that is the best. So, okay, now so going through my notes and everything. Um, there is one outstanding question about um, do they pay for quarantine? People, students that are quarantined here in North Cyprus, when you arrive in North Cyprus, important points concerning do they pay for quarantine? So let me just finish this um, flight thing and everything. So I will answer this big question that you guys really want to hear about if students coming to North Cyprus, when, when students, when you guys land in North Cyprus, do you have to pay for the quarantine? That's going to be the next question. So let me finish the flight. So yes, yeah, so like I said, it's best for you to use Turkish airline to come to North Cyprus. That is the best for a student. And also you have to use round trip. So the next one now, so let's talk about the PCR test. So basically, um, because of the pandemic, that has been going on around the whole world so you're required you're required to um have a pcr test before you can be able to travel okay and you all you guys already know that pcr test is covid test okay so and it takes um there's a duration some country wants you to do it within the um within 72 hours it depends but the duration for the PCR test is um, three to five days. So that is the max on arrival. It must be around three to five days when you did your test. So yes, yeah, so this PCR test is very important because without it, you cannot travel. You cannot even travel from your own, your own country. You can't travel without showing the PCR test. And somebody was asking me, which um, hospital can I do the PCR test? Like I said, I have people from all over the world watching me, so I cannot just tell you this hospital. But one thing that I know is that 
it's not all the hospital that does PCR tests. So whichever country that you're from is a very easy to easy thing to do. You just go to maybe let me give you an example. You go to a general hospital, a government hospital, and, and ask that you want to do a PCR test. So they will tell you because basically mainly is government hospital that does this PCR test or that is licensed to do it, whatever. So when you go there, they will direct you, this is how you do it. If you, if you just go to any hospital, they will tell you, oh, we are not licensed to do it or we are licensed to do it or go to this hospital or go to that hospital. They will just direct you. So whichever country that you're watching me from and you don't know how to navigate your way when it comes to the PCR test, just go to a hospital and tell them that you want to do a PCR test. Where are the licensed um, center to go and do it and they will definitely show you and everything. And also for the price, the price varies from person to person so you just have to know that and yes the next point is when to do the pcr test like i already said um there are some country okay so this question is um, um optional there are some country that you can actually do the pcr test today and you get it today but country like nigeria you have to do it today and get it the next day so for example now you're flying um let me just day one day two day three so if you're flying in day three if you're in this country that does not get instantly at least try to do it in day one so that in day two your result will be out then day three you go okay but if you're in a country that you can get the result instantly do it day two so that the next day you fly i hope that makes sense but basically if you're in a country that does the test and you get it that same day just do it a day before you're traveling but if you're in a country that it takes a day before you get it just do it two days before you're traveling so yeah so it will just sink in i hope that point is clear so the next one is okay this is very important and this is my student hopefully those of my students that had problems i'm going to bring them on my channel so they will tell you their experience and I'm very grateful because all of them they are now in North Cyprus, so I'm very grateful. So this one goes to all these Cameroonians and all this country that does not speak English, Congolese, and everything. If you your country you speak like your bi, um, bilingual or whatever you speak English and you speak French or you speak English and you speak anything, not like Nigeria, like Nigeria our general language is english you cannot carry french results to nigeria it's only english so if your country can accept any other language this is for you so your pcr test should be done in english okay tell them that you want the write-up to be in english because one of our Cameroon students is or was a victim he got to the Cameroon purpose and they sent him back just because of the pcr test was in french so it wasn't a funny experience so if you know anybody or you're in that situation or you don't know i'm telling you now all your pcr tests should be in english and okay, so that you will not have any issue about that so basically i've run down the question i've answered a lot so now let's go to this quarantine the payment of quarantine Oh. At the, the first time I was agitated, like I was feeling some kind of way because I used to have some questions that if you're not somebody that have self-control, you just get very angry. I remember my students were the first, you know, global educational, um, you know, global educational services, our agency, our students were one of the first students that got here in North Cyprus and I give God all the praise for that so they were the first one of the first students on the 9th of September so that aroused a lot of people so many so people were asking me because before then people were telling me that ah North Cyprus is not open you can students cannot come there were a lot of questions on my comment section some of them I just delete some of them I just leave but when my students now arrive the first set of students people saw it physical with their eyes so now then i shift over people that are asking me questions then i shift over and say they were not saying that oh you have to pay for quarantine and i even my students that met that when they were traveling they met other people other students and everything from other agents and everything at istanbul and the rest of it so they were telling me that 
some people paid for quarantine like paid their agent for quarantine or whatever and so i have to i will not oh i understand why some people are sending me email and everything asking me if they have to pay for quarantine and everything so basically with the start of this whole thing around that early september first second september that first time people were not sure so we were hearing news that student has to pay we were hearing news that they don't they will not pay and everything so we weren't sure so when our first set of student came i'm going to put that video so you go and watch it so even at the quarantine center we were asking them did they ask you for any money did they ask you for any money so vividly before one week we now knew that no student has to pay any money so this question the answer is you don't need to pay any money no the answer is no you're not paying no student is paying for any money the bills of the quarantine and everything the food that you're eating the accommodation and everything is being paid by cyprus government so yeah so that is every clap and everything so but the answer to this question is that no they don't pay for quarantine you don't pay for quarantine no payment for quarantine as in let me repeat it again no student is paying for quarantine no payment is free quarantine is free free of charge free of charge i'm hearing a music at the background let me go and off the music so i don't want to have copyright or something one minute so um so what i'm saying is that quarantine is free free of charge your 14 days is free and thank god i just remembered something um basically african country is 14 days that you do your quarantine but i know that in the list i saw rwanda so rwanda's your quarantine is seven days i saw that rwanda and all that country that is seven days but nigeria cameroon liberia all those things all those african countries um we are all you guys are going to be 14 days in the quarantine so yeah so basically these are as much as possible questions that i have to that i listed here that are the most top asked question so yeah i hope you guys uh, understand i cannot go like I cannot summarize everything, but the thing here that just watch the video from the start to the end so you, you get answers to all those questions. And also, I just thank you, I just want to say thank you guys to all of you that really patronized me this period, like coming through my agency and everything. I'm so glad that you guys um trusted me and everything, and um that's the reason why I cannot um be overwhelmed by stress. I have to do my best and vlog from the start when you guys arrive airport when i go to quarantine and everything so you see all those things and you know that it is for real so thank you for all the support and again so this um for this for this current admission time is almost at the close like it's almost over so just watch out because the next um semester the next semester is by february so the admission period is just run about the corner so it's very close just watch out at this stage i will try as much as possible to just be releasing all the it's only god that knows the amount of video that i have on my pc that i'm not being able to edit and everything some videos some arrivals i'm going to make some videos different days videos i will make them together because i cannot be doing one more it's a lot but anyways i'm so grateful i'm so grateful i'm so grateful for this fall admission um season it has been a blessing thank you guys for all and i hope to get more referrals um for the next se uh, semester so thank you so much i just want to say thank you though i'm not in a happy mood because of what is happening in nigeria currently in um, 20th if you didn't listen from the beginning 20th yesterday there was a massacre of innocent civilians that were saying to come out and save their rights and everything so it's been a lot going on in my mind i'm not really happy and yeah so the whole situation is just the way it is so we just pray that god just save the young people save them and make nigeria what god wants nigeria to be god should just make nigeria what he wants that country to be because at this point me in particular if you ask me please everybody should just go their separate ways but the will of god is what would prevail anyway at the end of the day yeah so yeah thank you guys for watching i'm so glad i was able to do this video I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.